Paul Hollow Trap. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? It's D-Man, you already know. Bringing to you some NBA 2K15. We at the wreck, as always. But something is different about this game, man. Of course, you got my boy Dooms. You have Haters, aka Moneybags, aka the king of the park. Of course, we have Godzilla and myself. And hold on, D-Man kill. D-Man had to freak that rim real quick. But we also have my boy Shakedown2012. Like, he finally made that switch, dog. Like, we've been bugging this dude for a month to switch over to Rivet City so we can run this wreck. He wanted to play at Old Town. We said, all right, cool, you know, it is what it is. But yesterday, my boy Shake made that switch. I cannot believe it, man. Feeling like T-Pain right now. So we got the boy Shake, and it's like gathering the fifth piece of Exodia. So we good, man. We Gucci. So we out on this fast break, and Shake down. He's going to throw that oop up, and I got it. Damn, damn, damn that boy good. Oh, yeah. You know we out on those fast breaks, man. You know I'm looking for that alley. So we playing some Sunset Beach Ballers. As always, this should be a two-note game. But we only have a one-point lead, so you know we got to turn up real quick. I'm going to show off this strange range right here. Get in the lucky bounce. I'm not going to lie. Yesterday when I was playing the wreck, and I was playing the stage a little bit also, but it just seems like I had to fight for my three-pointers, man. The rim was fighting me. It got to the point where I didn't even want to shoot three-pointers. I mean, y'all know me. If I'm open, I'm going to shoot it. It doesn't matter. But still, I was second-guessing myself. I was like, man, should I shoot this three? Because I be feeling like a bum when I miss a wide-open three, which happens a lot. I miss threes and free throws like no one else on NBA 2K. I mean, I just don't know what it is, man. I just be missing everything. So on that last play, Shade Down hit me up on that fast break. I was able to go in for a dunk. And I'm going to take it in one more time right here. I wanted to do a floater. I really didn't want to force it like that. But hey, it worked out. So I mean, we good. We chilling. So we back on D. And look at this dude, man. Running around the whole perimeter. He's going to force up a shot. And look at the point guard on the boards. And you know when I get a board, I'm going coast to coast. Don't call for the pass. Nobody's going to get it. I'm just going all the way. I mean, I just feel like I have to do that as a point guard, man. Once I snap that board, tunnel vision. I only see the rim. And not only that, but I also have the badges to do that. I haven't shown this yet, but I picked up transition finisher and one-man fast break. So like I said before, if I get that board, just hit the corners, hit the wings, because I'm taking it all the way. Selfish teammate, that me. Low key kind of selfish on the fast break, I'm not going to lie. So anyways, you see Zilla missing that shot right there, getting his own board. But look at Zilla going in for the M1. Go ahead and flex on him real quick. Zilla, beasting on the block, getting the job done down low in the paint. I like to see that. So Dunes bringing the ball up court. I'm going to swing it over to Godzilla. I mean, he's open. He has to take that shot. But look at Shakedown on the board. And check it out, man. You know Shakedown, he has the handles. Check out the spin move. Going in for the slam. Two hands for safety. Y'all know how we do, man. Just straight up freak the rim. That's what we're trying to do out here. So our opponents miss a wide open jumper right there. That was kind of a suspect jumper, but I ain't hating on them. We out on this fast break. Money bass. He's going to find me wide open for the three-pointer, and I got to fight for my threes, man. You see the ball bouncing all over the rim. I mean, come on, son. Like, I can't even call that strange range. I mean, the ball, it went in, but... I mean, it was like a LeBron three. I need that Steph Curry three. I need that nothing but net. So Shade Down passing it down low to Zilla. And Zilla, he's going to get hung up right there. But look at Dooms on the rebound and the kick out. While open once again. I mean, nobody was guarding me this game. I mean, I really don't blame him because my jumper is kind of suspect. I'm not going to lie. But you got to show respect, man. Don't leave me open. That's just a no-no. So I tried to take it in right here. They cut that baseline all the way off. Props to them for that. But look at Zilla run in, kick out. Perfect release. And nothing but net, but it wasn't a three-pointer this time. It was a strange range two-pointer. I hate when that happens. I thought I was able to slide back behind that three-point line. But 2K, they weren't having it. So we swinging the ball over. Look at Hacers. Run over to the hot spot. Going to knock down that three-pointer. Hacers was just on fire the whole day yesterday. On defense, he was putting in work. Offense, he wasn't missing. I mean, that dude, he's just a beast. And D-Man kill. Once again, going in, freaking the rim. Oh, you know, we not done with the highlights yet, man. That's what this squad is about. We like to get wins, and we like to look good getting wins. So, Hacers throwing the oop up the King Dooms. Damn, damn, damn that boy good. Absolutely no chill from King Dooms. I mean, why? I actually blame Hacers for that, because he didn't even have to throw the oop. But I guess he just felt like it, man. It be like that sometimes. So we back on defense. And that was a bad pass right there. King Doom said, oh, a piece of candy. He's going to pick it up, throw it down court, and look at Hacers to shake down 2012. You know, shake down his back. So we got to give him some oops. I mean, we just have to welcome him back to the squad. So he good now. 
but peep out the defense press the square button once and oh a piece of candy i was able to poke the ball loose i don't know what it is like people reach on me all the time and they don't call a reach in foul but usually when i press the square button once it's a reach in foul but that time right there they let me pick that pocket and so hastings picked it up and he was able to go in for the slam so we're back on this fast break and that was really the story of this game our opponents started taking bad shots. I think they were all random, so they didn't know each other. So of course, one dude was trying to be Kobe while the other one was trying to be Jordan. They weren't helping each other out. So that led to a lot of bad shots and a lot of fast breaks for us, which leads to a lot of dunks and also a lot of points. So just a quick update to what's gonna be going down on my channel. Of course, you know I'm bringing the red, I'm bringing the park, I'm bringing my career, I'm bringing rising stars. But a lot of people are asking me, what do I think about 2K? What do I think about live? And I just want to put my thoughts out there. So I'm going to be reviewing a bunch of modes, rising stars, my career, things I want to see fits, things I like, things I don't like, etc, etc. So be on the lookout for that. And of course, y'all know me. I'm not biased. There's no 2K fanboys. There's no live fanboys. Only basketball fans around here. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. 24 points, 1 rebound, 4 dimes, 11 for 12. You know, that's just something light. Slow game for your boy. Holler at you all later. Peace.